Yesterday, I got finished reading the Bible to you from the New King James Version in Joshua chapter 1. And I'm just going to sort of read verse 8 to you again, which says, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. In other words, you meditate on it all the time. That you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, then you will have good success. Uh, you know, I've, I've been talking to you over the last while about the agenda and how God wants us to live according to an agenda that is set by us, meaning God and I, God and sons, set the agenda. The New Testament, Jesus put it this way. When they asked him, how do you pray? And he said, pray this way. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Praises to your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so it's a clear thing. When Jesus was living on the earth, he said, if you hear me speak, it's the Father speaking. If you see me do something, it's the Father doing it. I do nothing except I do the will of the Father. What's that all about? That's all about who sets the agenda. And who sets the agenda determines the outcome. So, uh, you know, uh, certainly for me, if I'm cycling or running or doing one of those things and, and I have people r riding with me on the, on the bicycle and I'm, I'm in the front of, of the group and I'm leading the cycling and I set a pace, and let's just say I set the pace on an uphill and we're doing, uh, it's a short, uh, uh, low incline uphill, and I set the pace at 30 kilometers an hour. Well, I'm setting the agenda because that's the pace that I, there could be people behind me that are much f stronger than me and could ride faster. But if I'm in front and there's no way of getting past me, I'm setting the agenda. I'm setting the pace. Well, that's the thing about God. And what he's saying here is that if the book of the law is in your heart, it's in your mouth and in your mind day and night, then what's going to happen is the, and you're going to meditate on that all the time. That's going to be the thing that sets the agenda. That's what's going to set the pace. And then you will be prosperous and you'll have good success. Because what most people want to do is they want to think about a lot of other things. They want to hear what the world is doing. They want to hear what the news is saying. They want to hear what economists are saying. They want to hear what uh, politicians are saying. They want to hear what other people that seem to have influence around the earth are saying. And so then the influence that comes last is what God's word says. Well, then you're not going to have success the way God wants you to have success. You might have success, but it's going to be because other people are set their agenda and you choose to make their agenda your agenda. I'm going to read the message translation to you. And then tomorrow we'll pick up this message again in the message translation. I read verse five. All your life, no one will be able to hold out against you. In the same way I was with Moses, I will be with you. I won't give up on you. I won't leave you. Strength, courage, you're going to lead this people to inherit the land that I promised to give their ancestors. Give it everything. Uh, give it everything you have, heart and soul. Make sure you carry out the revelation that Moses commanded you, every bit of it. Don't get off track, either left or right, so as to make sure you get where you're going. And don't for a minute let this book of the revelation be out of your mind, not for one minute. Ponder and meditate on it day and night. Make sure you practice everything written in it. Then you'll get where you're going and you'll, then you'll be and you'll succeed. Wow, because if we do that, then it becomes God's agenda, becomes our agenda, and we'll get where we're going and we will succeed. Sure, again, having such fun on this subject, enjoying my time with you. Thank you for listening with me. Have a glorious, blessed, awesome day today in Jesus' name. God bless you.